So they didn't have either of their best players, especially Devontae Adams, and our defense still wasn't able to give us a great game. Let's get into the defense, guys. Uh, you see, I, I, Jay, I know you said they played middle of the road and they haven't given up a crazy amount of points. I think the defense has been bad, frankly. But do you, like below, below I, the middle? I do, because if you think about it, Look who they played. Yeah, that, that, la- fa- you know, that factor. Like in. you faced a good quarterback. Jacksonville, Dak, the Giants, the Raiders. Those are small, those are three severely handicapped offenses. You're right. You're right. And and you know they haven't put up massive points, but they put up enough. Like and it the, was easy. Yeah. And it was easy. It was and, easy. And, and here's what we know about the Browns' defensive line. Thank you. Talk oh, to no, nobody's any good besides Miles. That's Garrett. it. Now, thank you. <laughs> you know thank what? You. It's the thank same. You. It's the thank same you. pile of garbage we had four years yeah, ago. Yep. Yep. Different names on it. Yep. It's a yep. little. Be- I would say it's yep. a little better. Uh, uh, but they uh, are uh, all so, uh, uh, the uh, best of the rest is maybe an average player. I thought we were watching the Falcons game from last year. I mean, Do you remember that? Yeah. Or two years ago, whatever, whenever that was. When they just, every play, 12 yards, 12 yards, I mean, 12 yards, 12 getting, yards. Ki- you're getting smoked Ale- by Alexander Daniel Madison? Jones, Alexander. Like, look at the players. In the last two weeks, <laughs> Malik, outside of Malik neighbors, the Giants and the, and the Raiders – have nobody spe- special on offense. I didn't nobody. know who they were. Not quarterbacks, not running backs, not wide receivers. Malik Neighbors is the only guy the last two weeks. And yet both of those teams went nuts. You know, moved the ball up now, and down they, the they field. Did, they moved the ball a lot, yeah. but they didn't re- – I mean, th- the end result was they didn't score a lot of points. That's true because they're they're not very good, right, ultimately. <laughs> yeah. But the Browns, like – if, if when Miles Garrett is not on the field, it's, oh, they it's, got nothing. Oh. It's ten yards. I, listen, I, and I know, I know a lot of pitch count. I so know a lot out. of people are going to disagree with me, and and I, that's fine. But to me, because because when you look at the statistics, T.J. Watt's always going to be a little ahead of Miles Garrett. In my mind, it's not close between those two players. I don't he, think it's close between Miles he, Garrett and T.J. Watt. You think Miles is better? I think oh. he's way better. Wow. I don't think it's close. Miles Garrett has played. In a mostly dysfunctional franchise, yeah. with with no help, no talent around him on the D line ever. Whereas T and again, T.J. Watt's a great player. He's a great player. Yeah, I, I have a problem. Miles with you Garrett's it's not me, even close though. I, it's I think just it's my close. opinion. Listen, yeah, no, my no, opinion. I get it. I get it. Miles Garrett to me is on another stratosphere, and I've kind of yeah. fully realized it this year. I finally got got hip to it because he Look has no help, and T.J. Watt. Has great help, and he's and he hobbled has every year. The, he's he's visibly hobbled on a pitch count. Yeah, and he still gave you that production. And thank you for saying it. Thank you for saying it. Zadarius Smith, you're a steak oh. eater. Dalvin Tomlinson, Maurice Hurst, Are they still on Shelby the team? Harris. Nothing. Are they even on the team? Uh, no impact whatsoever. No, Alex, they were invisible. Alex Wright, listen, man. Oh, this his is, penalty th- th- This is this what I'm that talking about. And, and, and this is the problem when people say ticky-tack, ticky-tack. Last week, it was Greg Newsom, and, and, and we said, that cost you an interception when the Giants could have been out of that game. That's right. Yep. You got to pick inside your territory. You could go up 17-0. Guess what you do, Greg Newsom? You run up there and put your hands on the quarterback's face. Alex Wright, don't run to the sideline and say, "What did I do?" Yeah. Or, and that's the that that's once again is discipline and is coaching. When you didn't chew Greg Newsom out for doing it, yeah. Then Alex Wright, another player, says, "Well, that's acceptable." Yeah. So now you give him 15 yards. You basically give them points because you're being selfish. What? What don't you get? What? How do you? What not, don't you? I know get? that was that was as disturbing to me as the penalty itself. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That's a penalty 100 times out Every of 100. Time. I understand the complaints about the ticky-tack on the hold. I found that a little frustrating, too. Right. But, the, sorry, folks. It's well, a penalty. Did you just wake up today? It's a penalty. Every time penalty. you hit the helmet, it's a penalty. 100%. End of conversation. Why are you diving at the, the ball's out? That's, that's what I call fake hustle. Don't fake hustle. If you didn't get there, you were there late, line up, snap the ball again. The defense missed tackles. I mean, are we back in 2015 with the missed tackles? I mean, guys are – he's hes giving them cushion 10 yards. I don't know what that defensive wrinkle was. No, give, I don't either. That give, was awful. Give the guys 10 yards and play and play off of them. Which, and, where did that even come from? I've never seen the Browns play defense like that. And Martin Emerson – Oh, uh, my God. He's been horrific. He, he run, <laughs> Martin Emerson runs like a veteran linebacker. Like that man – it, listen, he looks like I, I, he, he looks like he got arthritis. He looks like it hurts when he walks. 
you wake up and he like, dang, my arthritis is getting to me. I don't my know about arthritis. you guys. Are, God, I, I, God, I, I don't know about you guys, but to me, the Browns have four players on defense. There you go. Talk they to him. Miles, yep. JOK, out. Ward, and Delpit. And Delpit. That's, That's it. it. That's it. Everybody else has done nothing the whole you know, season. I said this yes, last week. Uh, I'll repeat it because it was obvious at watching the game on Sunday. Teams are built from the line out. The good teams. Uh, if you don't have serviceable lines, it you doesn't don't. matter. All the other bells and whistles you have can't yeah. can't show off their talent because either if you're a quarterback, you don't have time to throw, or if it's flipped on the other side and you've got no offensive line, how do you run the ball? You, you, how do you run the ball? How do you, how, yeah. It doesn't matter who you have running the ball or who Besi- your wide Besi- receivers are. You can't run block and you can't pass block. And on the defensive side, if you're letting the quarterback back there with, with all day to throw – He's going to find open guys, and yeah. if you can't tackle at the point of attack, <laughs> that's a eight yard yeah, gain every time. They can't. Tackle. I, it, it was, and, and, and I think what, this has been a sobering thing. This is very sobering. Is right or wrongly, I think we've talked about the quarterback position in this town for seven straight years, hyper focused on it. And while we were hyper focused on these quarterbacks, yep. we forgot that trench warfare is the name of the game. That's where you win. And your offensive line, the good ones got old, and the ones you thought was supposed to be something wasn't. And we found out and woke up and rolled over yeah. and found out the only guy we still got up front is Miles Garrett. And we keep saying, yeah. how many years do we say we need somebody opposite Miles Garrett? And yeah. we still ain't got it. It hit me man. late in the game yesterday, even before it was out of reach, but when it felt like they're not going to make a play. They, yeah, that's yeah, just yeah. not who they are. I, it hit me again. I thought this a couple times during Miles Garrett's career. We are Joe Thomas. Oh, uh, full, fully. I think he's going to ask for a trade at fully. the end of the season. Full, fully. Yeah. Full. I, I wouldn't if blame he him. he stood up tomorrow yeah. and said, I want out, I could never blame no. him. No. I blame the Browns for not putting the pieces around him to get this man where he belongs, the Super Bowl. And, and, the yeah. sca- and really quick, well, the scary <laughs> part about it is, yeah. Earl did a podcast earlier this year. He said, Miles Garrett is the next guy up to get an extension. Why haven't they extended him yet? And the scary part about it is Miles Garrett might not be asking for an extension because he don't want to be extended. Here. He's he's going to and without Miles and Garrett, I would not they're, blame they're, him. they're they're not a good defense. I'm no, kidding. they're a tr- well, listen, <laughs> Captain. Obvious. Without Miles yeah. Garrett, it's they're atrocious. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're gonna you know. I mean, you're taking. And that, and that blows me away. Max Crosby's not on the field. That's don't, not on the field. Devontae Adams. You and can, they rushed. Yeah. Like, if you didn't know he wasn't playing, you would have thought he was playing. I actually uh, thought the Browns offensive line played better this week than last week. And, overall. Well, they, they did, but that's not saying much. No, but I, I think Dewan Jones was so bad that it made it look even worse. I actually Is thought, it out of shape? Is it oh, lack of it, effort? Yeah. What oh, is yeah, it? He listen, was on the Adam the Bull diet this season, listen, yeah, which listen. is just eat everything. <laughs> That's listen. what he was. And he, it, it, this is this is a bigger. And I said this. What do you on, think he weighs? Four, it, it, four, over four hundred. Four thirty by four thirty. Yeah, oh, he's about four. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 His, his when jersey. you're our size, you know when a guy's his, over four hundred. That's a really? special jersey. Yeah. That's a special jersey. They get that. They make that. At the, oh no, yeah, that's at that, the awning and tent yeah, company. Yeah, yeah, like that. That's a yeah. special jersey. That's like a destination and, XL special. And, and, right and, there. and the problem, <laughs> and the problem overall is, and this is the scary thing, and I, I was breaking this down yeah. on my podcast, is that. When you drill down on Bill Callahan, and it's not just that he's not there to be on the guys or technique. What Kevin Stefanski did essentially is the reason why he hired Bill Callahan is because he had a rare skill set. He's the only coordinator and position coach that was a former head coach, called his plays, also was a former coach on a college level, Mm. and his specialty was offensive line. (laughs) 